Big news in Google Workspace land, Gemini AI is now free for all business and enterprise plans, but it's gonna come at a cost. Whether or not you wanted Gemini in your business or not, now you've got it. I'm gonna explain all the details you need to know about Google's latest major announcement. If you're new here, my name is Pete Moriarty. I've been helping business owners for over 20 years with Google Workspace, helping them systemize, organize, and scale with the right technology for your business. Now, Google seemed to skip consent class in their HR onboarding, and they've decided to just force Gemini onto everyone. And that unfortunately includes a price hike for your workspace plans. Now, the price hike isn't huge and it ends up much more affordable than if you were to buy Gemini separately, which is what they've been trying to get you to do for the last year. But Google have decided that everyone's gonna have Gemini just like Oprah wants everyone to have a car. And so we're all gonna get it from today. Now, officially, it's not actually rolling out from today. It was supposed to be from March 15, but some of our customers have reported to us that they are seeing it appear in their accounts immediately when they haven't paid for Gemini, they haven't signed up to a trial for Gemini. So expect that the rollout is probably gonna be immediate so everyone can get their hands on it as fast as possible. This video is gonna be part rant about what's happening and part, I hope, useful information about what you are gonna learn in the new Gemini world and how you can roll it out and what's gonna change in your account as Google make these changes. If you're looking for a general, what is Gemini, how do I use it in my business inside Google Workspace, I recommend you watch our recent guide on using Gemini for business owners. And this video is gonna be more about this particular announcement. Now, rightly so, a number of people in our community are pretty upset about this announcement. Google have made three major price rises in the last five years. The first one was moving from G Suite to Google Workspace, and even though it wasn't technically a price rise, they changed the plans and they forced everyone to buy the same product again at a new rate under a new plan. Uh, they then, just a year and a bit ago, added a additional price increase, and this is another increase as well. Now the price is going up between 16 and 24%, depending on what plan you're on. So all plans across the board are going to have a price increase. This doesn't apply to education users, they get it for free. I don't know how you're gonna get access to a Gemini account if you're on an education domain. Does everyone get it for free or do they still have to pay? We're still yet to hear from Google on that one. But for all business and enterprise plans, you're gonna get Gemini and you're gonna pay more for Workspace. Now we've been talking about Gemini over the last year on this channel and I've not been that impressed with it when compared to Claude or GPT or other tools that are out there in the marketplace. Gemini has gone from a bit of a laughing stock when it was first released to something that has been more and more useful inside the Google ecosystem for myself as a business owner and my team. And my last update that I made on Gemini, I said that I love the tool for all of the small things it does and that combination of many small useful things that it does makes it worthwhile. Is there one feature that it does better than anyone else? No. Are there frustrations using the product that still exists where I would usually go to GPT and get an immediate answer where with Gemini I've got to ask two or three times? Yes, they do still exist. There are challenges with Gemini, but overall I'm pretty glad that everyone's gonna get it now because there are some useful specific cases that we use inside of Google Workspace that do make Gemini pretty darn great. Now, my opinion on Gemini has been a bit of a mixed one over the last year because for Google asking us to pay $20 per license per month just to access Gemini, my opinion has been, eh, you probably don't really need it. Maybe one or two or a handful of your staff might use some of the features and sure, go and roll it out to them. But it's never really been a hell yeah for me to say, roll this out to your whole business. Now, if you're paying an extra two bucks a month or four bucks a month, okay, now it's getting very useful for the business and I'd say this is probably a good move. The only issue I have with this is how Google has rolled it out without much notice and without any of our consent. So let's take a quick taking stock of where Gemini is at inside businesses, inside Workspace, and I'll give you an idea of what features you can use. Now in Gmail, it's been integrated into not only giving you suggested responses for emails, it's like a natural extension of their machine learning responses that were released many years ago. Now you can click a button and it will type out a scripted response based on the intent of the email that you received. Of course, there's summaries as well. If there's a long email chain, you can click a button, get a summary, and that's pretty useful. If you're writing an email and you want Google to help draft an email from scratch, you've got the Gemini button there too. Now, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, you can generate images, you can generate slides, you can have it write text for you if you're staring at a blank page and you want 
Google to click a button and give you some words. Yeah, okay, you've got that inside of a Google Doc. If you wanna change the tone of something, you can highlight it and click a button and change the tone. All of these are small, useful features that, okay, you probably wouldn't buy Gemini just for that individual feature, but collectively, they make your life easier. I do like that when I log into Google Chat, there's an automatic summary of conversations there that is generated by Gemini. Now, again, these are small incremental changes to features that Google was already building with their large language model tools many years ago. So it's not rocket science that they've now called it Gemini and made this a paid feature, but it is nice that they're slowly bringing those improvements in there. The big one, which is pretty new, is the summaries in Google Meet. Google will listen to your conversation in Meet. It will generate a Gemini-based summary of the meeting and it will give you action items. It will give you bullet points on everything that was said in the meeting and give you a real good, I guess, synopsis of what happened that you can cut and paste somewhere else or share it with someone who wasn't there on the call. Now, this I really like, and we do still sometimes use third-party tools that have additional features that help us to summarize our meetings, but Gemini has gotten really good at this, and we've even started using the feature to automatically record and transcribe and summarize meetings with Gemini every time we have recurring meetings with our team. You can watch some of our other videos on the channel on how to switch on this feature. Finally, probably the most important feature with Gemini is the ability to run searches and talk to your Google Workspace data from within the Gemini prompt window. So if I open up a chat with Gemini and I say, hey, can you read through everything in my Google Drive and let me know what's the vibe of the business right now? What are people saying in meetings? You know, go and read my meeting transcripts and tell me a summary of what I should be working on in my business right now. I've been really impressed with using Gemini for this because I'm able to get an immediate glimpse into how my team are responding to things, what's happening in maybe meetings that I'm not a part of, because Gemini can see into the transcripts of each of those meetings that are shared. Well, I'm able to get a one-click response to generate business plans, strategies, and that helps me keep on top of things. I also like that if I'm looking for an email from someone from months or even years ago, if I've tried searching inside of Gmail search and I just can't seem to find it, maybe giving some context clues without knowing all of the exact details will give Gemini enough information to find that email and bring it back for me. They're some of the features that I really like being able to use the prompt window for Gemini and talk to my Google Workspace data. So let's talk about what's changing with the Google Workspace plans unofficially from today, but officially from March 15. If you're a business owner or an IT professional and you're using either Google for Business or Google Enterprise, one of those plans, no matter what plan you're on, you are gonna get access to Gemini. Now, unofficially, it's rolling out from now. Officially, it's gonna be there from March 15. Now, what this gives you access to is everything inside Gemini Advanced or the Gemini Pro version. It's the businessy edition and it lets you do all of your integration with Google Workspace from within Gemini. Now, you may need to switch it on for your domain. Uh, we'll have a separate guide coming out on the channel on how to do that if you're not sure how to do it. But that gives you and your team access to Gemini's tools, both the mobile app, which now works with Google Workspace, and access from the web as well. This is technically at no extra cost to your domain name but Google are also at the same time increasing the price of all Google Workspace plans. So if you'd paid for Gemini previously, you're gonna get like an account credit or a refund for the portion that you've not yet used. So if you've paid for it until the rest of the year, well, then you'll get a rebate or refund on that. But everyone is effectively gonna be forced to use Gemini from March 15 forward, and you will effectively have an increase in your price across the board, across all of the users on your account. Now, if you do have a committed plan, you will hopefully for that period of time be able to stay on that committed plan. There's certain terms and conditions, but if you've signed a multi-year contract with Google or a special deal with us, and you're locked in for a certain number of months or years, you should be able to keep that pricing. But of course, check with your account manager just to make sure. There are some changes to who's gonna get what features, like one of the features that it called Advanced AI for Spreadsheets is now gonna be available across all of the plans, not just for the higher tiered plans, but for the most part, everyone's just gonna get access to the same Gemini. Now, when we talk about large language models immediately, people often have concerns and they start to think, hey, is Google gonna use my business data to share with other people? Or is this information that I enter into Gemini somehow gonna end up on the internet or end up in the hands of someone else? Now, Google have promised that none of your data will be used to train their models 
for anything outside of your business. And I believe that Google are pretty good with their privacy when it comes to your business data sitting inside your business. Now, does that say that they haven't historically used your data to build these models? I don't know. I've got a sneaking suspicion that Google may have used, let's say maybe all of the data in Gmail across their 2 billion mailboxes to train their models. I can't say for sure whether or not they've done that, but it's possible. Google have had a pretty good track record of not selling your data to advertisers as long as you're on a business plan or exposing your personal private data to any other third parties. They've never been a breach or you know they've never had any issues with that in terms of the commercial Google workspace ecosystem. Do they use your personal Gmail account for that? Hell yeah, they do. <laughs> They're gonna sell your data to whoever they can for advertising and we already know the privacy concerns of Google using your data around the web. But on a business plan, you should be able to have some comfort that your profit and loss or your spreadsheet or your emails aren't going to end up anywhere outside your business and I do believe Google are going to be genuine with that. So if you're brand new to Gemini, here's what you should do today. Once it appears in your account, you should get a prompt or a pop-up of some sort when you log into your Gmail or one of the other apps. Well, try writing an email and using the automatic compose feature or letting it automatically draft a response to an email that's come into your inbox. Inside Google Sheets, you know, try creating a pivot table, try clicking some Gemini buttons or asking a question of your data of Gemini and you know, see if it gives you a good answer. If you're making a presentation today, ask it to generate an image for your slide or ask it to build out some slides based on a prompt or a bullet point overview of the presentation. If you're in a meeting with your team, click on the Gemini button in the top right hand corner and have it take some notes. It can automatically record and make sure that you get a good summary of the meeting too. After you've had a play, the next step is to train your team. You wanna make sure they are getting the most out of this platform as well. So schedule a session to share the tips and tricks our recommendation is to set up a Google chat room dedicated for AI in your business where your team can share what they're working on and share what discoveries they're making, what tools they've noticed that they're useful, you know, how they're using Gemini to get their work done. If you'd like more training for your team, we run online masterclasses and boot camps from time to time. Click the link down below and be sure to stay in touch with our team to look out for the next one. And finally, for more advanced users, you might wanna check out the GEMS feature. This is where you can take data from your business like spreadsheets, documents, and build it into a distinct AI, kind of like chatbot, but an individual AI worker resource. And what that will let you do is give specific instructions on how data should be presented and shared with your team. Now, if that sounds a little bit like gobbledygook, let me give you an example of what we're using it for. We've taken all of our standard operating procedure documents and we've put them into one gem. And that is basically our HR assistant. Now with that HR assistant, you can query it, you can ask questions, you can say, hey, I'm a brand new person in this business. I wanna be onboarded. What things do I need to know? And it will answer from the resources that you've attached to that gem. Now that gem can be shared between different team members, of course, just private within your business. And that means that all of a sudden you're creating a large language model chatbot AI assistant that will help you and your team to get things done right from your existing business data. Now I promised you a rant and I can't finish this video without telling you my honest, candid thoughts about Google and their pricing strategy. This is the third major pricing increase in five years and as a business owner, it hurts. We know that for many people who are in our community, times are tough at the moment, business is tough right now and with Google continuing to jack up the price of this software, even though most of us love Google Workspace, it still kind of stings. I'm in two minds about this and personally, I don't make much money selling Google Workspace licenses. We make our money on services. So I don't care what Google charges you, it doesn't really help me when they put the price up that much. But what we do know is that this is a great ecosystem and it helps support businesses to get things done. My personal opinion is that Google have looked at businesses paying $100 a month to Salesforce or Zendesk or other tools that they're using and they're saying, hey, why aren't we getting a piece of that pie? People are using email and drive and chat and meetings to run their whole business. Yet for many years, Google were just charging a couple of bucks a month per mailbox. Now, I remember the days when it was literally five Australian dollars per mailbox per month. And we're a long way from that now. But at the same time, the applications, the ecosystem and everything in the Google world has developed so much and it's effectively 
absolutely central to how we run our business. We've got a large team now, 65, 70 odd people across multiple countries, and every single day we're using Google Workspace as the platform for our business. So while a price increase always stings, I do stop short of calling Google evil because this is a great application suite that we use every day. And with some added AI tools, if that's gonna make our life easier, for a couple of extra bucks, I do think that's worth it. Now you've got through this one, go and check out our comprehensive guide on using Gemini for your business, and I'll see you in the next one.